Okay, so good afternoon once again. So we are um, in our first uh, session for uh, industrial and agricultural marketing. This is a fourth year, uh, fourth year course and all of you are expected to be third year or fourth year subjects and must have finished uh, basic marketing as well as consumer behavior for you to understand the terms that I will be discussing here. So basically the subject is composed of two important sections we have agricultural marketing and the other one is industrial marketing so if you refer to your course uh, syllabus uh, the first three weeks uh, focus mo much more on agricultural marketing and marketing of agricultural commodities now why is it important that we need to study marketing of agricultural commodities first and foremost you by now you must might have um, realize that uh, agriculture is very essential for our survival right so all of our primary commodities from rice to viands essentials you know, like um, uh, essential items like our dairies our milk our eggs come from the agricultural sector and by now you might have um, realized also that we have lesser appreciation with the with the agricultural sector in fact um taking agricultural uh, courses or degrees like agribusiness um agriculture agricultural and biosystems engineering is the least appreciated course despite the fact that it is the number one priority of the commission of higher education so tayo being marketing management students it is our duty to help them or to give to give um Kumbaga, we we serve our uh, we serve as a bridge no for people for common people to understand uh, to understand agriculture by studying agricultural marketing so agricultural marketing focuses on marketing distribution and promotion of agricultural commodities from the agricultural sector to the consumers so, bakit kailangan nating malaman ang channels of distribution or the distribution system of these agricultural commodities? It's important because they serve as the primary materials for production. So, anong ato ang ginakaon ng mga manga? It will be processed into uh, products available in um, the market, in the supermarket, or in the department store, thanks to people working in the agricultural um agricultural marketing na side okay so for now so kalo in town ani ni feli sig atem waiting may pa siya naka wait akong ex wala anyway <laughs> anyway uh, marketing of agricultural commodities here are our objectives no? so first and foremost we define agricultural marketing so you might have a glimpse because it's already defined in the course portfolio pero si pakita in town sa imong naong day <laughs> I-open yung tanong yung video. Ay, mukha ko ang kayo. Ako stress po ko. Pukoy ligo. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> Second one. Uh, describe agricultural marketing channel. So, you, by now, you might uh, you might be aware of the term middlemen or marketing intermediaries or the people working no uh, between the supplier and the buyer. So, these are the people that we serve, that, that serve as the bridge or we call conduit. No, in distributing these uh, primary commodities from the one who created and manufactured it up to the one who consumes it. So, in the context of agricultural marketing, we will be understanding kinsa to ang mga tao or who are these people responsible for distribution of these agricultural products to the consumers like us. So, like agencies, institutions, and support services. So, we will be discussing that in detail in this chapter. Next one is uh, describing agricultural marketing systems and their functions. So we have established simple and complex marketing systems intended for agricultural uh, production as well as distribution. So we will also be discussing this one. Uh, finally, uh, no, um, other, uh, other objectives covered in this chapter is functional uh, the, the marketing systems using the functional, institutional, and behavioral approaches. We will also be studying economics. You know? So we are studying um, economics of trade as well as balance of trade and balance of payment between countries. Uh, we'll also be studying the behavior of the people distributing products and the possible opportunity cost. You know? 
Menso. Laban lang diha. So, other things that we'll be covering is marketing costs, you know, marketing margins, and the marketing bills. Ano yung mga possible na mga sources of expenses for uh, the distribution systems of agricultural products? And what would be the possibility that we will earn more if we're going to save? Ana, Max, ana, maglas. Sorry. And finally is classification. Nana daw, nasa gawas. Wala na, bayad na. Sorry, sorry class, nagpa-food panda ako eh. <laughs> and then, explain the classification of uh, utilities, value addition, and the concept of consumer, consumer sovereignty. So itong sinasabi natin that the, con, the, that the customer is always right is one proof of consumer sovereignty. But it's not absolute, ha? Because sometimes we need to really, uh, really, we really need to understand that because of the perishability of agricultural products, consumer sovereignty should not be absolute, and that will be one thing that we will be discussing in the future. Okay, so agricultural marketing definition. So the definition here it's the connecting link between farm producers and consumers. So the link involves two activities. Number one, physical distribution. So, kung nakikita ninyo yung mga man, yung kung nakapunta na kayo ng South Cotabato, if you've been to South Cotabato and you've happened to uh, witness large plantations or large acres of land planted with pineapples, you might have wondered how are they going to harvest this one and where does this harvested pineapples go? How are they even being transported? So physical distribution involves these things. No? It concerns with physical handling, ensuring quality of the harvest, you know, processing. So how do they remove, uh, how do they process it? Are they going to semi-process it or fully process it? The transfer of raw and semi-finished or finished goods from the point of production, kung saan siya tinanim, saan siya inani, no? to the point of consumption. So if in case you're familiar with, with Dole's than Philco, so they're engaged with banana plantation as well as uh, pineapple plantations. So imagine ano ang mga products that can be produced in order, to, in order to prepare the products to become a consumable pineapple tidbits or um, banana chips. No? Imagine kung... Tagging pana, it's it's just a banana bunch in the tree, pero a few months after it's it's now something that's as processed into a final product available in the supermarket. So the kind of handling, the physical handling of these products is crucial in agricultural marketing. Second one is economic exchange. It's always about bayad. No? In the context of marketing, economic exchange is always paying for something of value. So, it's concerned with exchange and price setting processes. For example, you might, I, I don't know if you have any, I don't know if you experience or you have a, a course in pricing strategy. May, may kurso ba kayo about pricing? Pricing alone? Mm, wala, sir. Wala, sir. Ah, kasi sa new curriculum kasi meron. No? Meron silang second year pricing strategy na tingalaga ni kung ah, bakit separate course ang pricing strategy? It's just two chapters. No? So anyway, since magwang naman mo, senior citizen naman mo si UM, we'll just focus <laughs> more, ma, much more on studying economics and the balance of trade and payment. No? So, kabalo naman siguro mo that we are an export uh, exporting country, you know, so we're exporting agricultural products to China, to Europe, uh, to Japan. So sometimes, mag, mag wonder mo, are we paying? Are they paying as cash? Are they paying as dollars or something? So we will also be studying those. No, okay. Abi palang inig mamaligat agmanga sa Japan, magbayad talaga tayo ng cash. Oh, dara o. And then, hindi ganun, hindi ganun yung setup, no? So we will also be studying the setup of payment between countries and multinational corporations and that's economic exchange pero ang basic economic economic exchange definition is actually payment no magbabayad ka talaga so kung mangungutang ka magbayad ka para naman makaulit ka <laughs> okay marketing definition by different people so according to consumers marketing is shopping trip to the supermarket 
no? So para sa kanila when when they hear the word marketing, they always believe that it's about shopping. No? Mamalit. No, wag na ng ilahang ko an. So, madung po ninyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, mamalit. So, kamo daw, mangutan ako sa inyo ha, kung sumanti mo, kung mangutan ako marketing, kung sa mo yung definition, ang ilang mga gano'n, anak, palengke, mamalit. No? Mga mga gano'n ilang kasagaran impression sa marketing, ano nag-marketing man ka, ang sa mga ka, ahinti ka, babuis, palengke. They always have the notion that marketing is a cheap course, but actually, it's the course of the rich. Because you can fully understand how people behave and you understand what products do they need so that you can supply it and satisfy it. So for farmers, you know, they can associate marketing with they can associate marketing with loading of cows into pickup trucks to send to the market. Para sa kanila ang marketing is parang yung mga produkto nila ikakarga nila sa kanilang mga truck para i-distribute or ihatid sa palengke. That's that's their impression about marketing. But for food middlemen, like retailers, wholesalers, processors, para sa kanila, they view marketing as a process. It's a process of gaining competitive advantage. It's about competition. It's about making yourself better so that you are chosen. No, mura nang sa pag, para yung, para yung pagpanguyab or courtship. Ba? So, there's a beautiful girl. And there are three boys wanting to have to who be the boyfriend of that of that girl so you know how do we how do we take pride or how do we you know, process ourselves to become that the boyfriend of that girl so we're going to we're going to capitalize on what we are special of Wapo bata, kabalo bata mo gitara, di ba? so we always have that competitive advantage because when we have competitive advantage we tend to improve our sales and profit. Remember, class, that in any industry, even the agricultural industry and the industrial industries, being the best is always our consideration for profit. Dapat maging the best ka talaga. Kasi kung hindi ka magiging best, hindi ka pipili. And I know the feeling of not being chosen. <laughs> So, si Feli in town, nakasuda in town, si Feli, kalowin. Huwag yan ako, sir. Okay, so remember, we improve our sales and profits if we capitalize more on our competitive advantage. So, how do we, how do we gain competitive advantage? We need to study our market. We need to study our consumers and the people who buys from us. And let's, let's find, uh, let's find something as, uh, let's find uh, something as an opportunity to improve our operations. Okay. So, agricultural marketing is the performance of all business activities involved in the flow of food products and services from the point of initial agricultural production. Kung kag point of initial agricultural production, the moment nagtanom ka, the moment nga gipanganak ng mga bakaha or mga kanding, the, the moment that you rear them to become products ready for distribution, that's what we call point of initial production until they are in the hands of the consumers. So the mere transfer, the, the act of transferring the ownership of this agricultural commodities. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Wait. It's calling me. <laughs> Sir, as per earnest, mag-issue pa daw ang admission basta new student then extended on ko ing na if na. Sandali lang ha, kasi may tumatawag from admission. If na. Ga klasiko. Check. Na na, himo nagi kung kabalo kabalo ba mo klas? Na himo nagi kung overall marketing officer ani sa grad school. Kaya ako ipakotan an sa mga isajan. Awo do kung market. Alang an kaya marketing graduate man. Dapat kabalo mo ha. Mo ginoo inyong itake pride ng ako an na skill kanang kabalo kanang kamo kabalo mo mo explain so that you will become 
kwa no a provider of service dali lang di class sorry check your lms everything is encoded there okay so kung may unta og until they are in the hands of the consumers that means uh, the point that the products are actually ready for market so they are being transported to the initial buyer now the initial buyer may treat your products as the final products to be sold to the consumers no kana ganing mamaligya ka og for example your products are eggs of course ang eggs they are ready for consumption right so if in case you're a chicken farmer you're going to distribute this to your um uh, distributors kanang sa palengke para mamaligya sila og itlog and then they sell it directly to their consumers that's the case for for um for eggs but there are agricultural products that need further processing kanang kumprahon ang imuhang mga agricultural products so that they can serve as raw materials for their products case in point saging so bananas are actually uh, bought by large uh, food companies because they serve as primary ingredient for their products so for example banana chips so Kanang banana chips factories in Santa Cruz, in Davao de Sur, they're buying um, bananas from plantations so that they can process it into banana chips ready for international market. Na. So, nana kung food pandaye. Salamat. <laughs> so, okay, what are the following uh, implications that we get from that definition? So, we have two implications. We have farm gate. So when we say farm gate, uh, that means before production, there should be a market. So before mo mananum, before mo magbuhi og manok, make sure nga intended na na siya sa consumers. Na anagid mo define defined consumers. Dili pata pwede mamintaha nga. Sige, magbuhi og baboy. O na pag uman, mangita pa kinig. Kada ko na sa baboy, di ha pa mangita og buyer. No. As early as the planning stage, you already know what your market is. No? So, kinahanglan, yung anak po na sa ginagko ng mga agricultural commodities like bananas, mangoes, coconuts, even they have started planting it, they already are aware kung sino ang possible buyers. We're going to uh, consider, the, uh, consider this as farm gate marketing. When we say farm gate marketing, that means marketing begins at the farm gate or upon the realization that at the start of the production process, at the start of the planting and rearing of animals, there's already an intended buyer for them. Okay? So, mo na siya farm gate marketing. Mga pa na ko ana sa inyong essay ha. So, what is your understanding of farm gate marketing and how could it help you if in case you will be breeding cows or breeding pigs or breeding chickens for slaughter? So, kasi kung makasabot ana, farm gate marketing is already identifying your consumers at the start of the planning of production. When we say planning of production in the agriculture, agricultural setting, sa pagpananom pa lang ninyo, na kabalo na, kanong nagtanom pa lang mugliso, kabalo na mo, ilig mo tubo ni Kinsa ang mamalit. Sa pagpana, pagpagwi pa lang ninyo o mga sisiw, ana, kabalo na mo kung Kinsa ay possible mamalit, ano yung inyong mga manok. No? So, forward thinking tayo when it comes to far, farm gate marketing. So, second one is interdependence. When you say interdependence, it be, it's between farmers, middlemen, and consumers. You as a businessman, you as a marketing practitioner, you do not really depend on your own. You need a market of people. You need, you need a network of people that can actually help you distribute your products. Kaya importante na kapag marketing ka, marami kang contacts. No? So, that's my, that's my true measure of um, marketing, marketing prowess. I'll give you a case in point. This is not actually agricultural marketing in, uh, by nature, but it's actually uh, related to COVID-19. So, ito yung nangyari. Ako is, nakita ko yung, uh, may, may nakita ako na Facebook friend na taga Dikos na galing siya ng New Zealand, na-stranded siya sa Manila. Okay? Na-stranded siya sa Manila for 36 days. He's staying in a hotel, paying 4,000 pesos every night for his stay. So imagine the cost of paying paying the hotel for 
36 days because he was stranded because of COVID-19. So what happened? No, Naawa ako. So ang ginawa ko is, I tried contacting some people sa gobyerno. Like, can, can I talk with ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Kasi my friend, nung naging presidente si Digong, may mga naging friends din ako sa city na na-promote din sa Malacanian. So I tried contacting them and lo and behold, nakauwi na siya ng Digos in just two days. Wow. Um, nakauwi na siya ng Digos in two days na hindi magawa-gawa in 36 days. Na nakiusap ako, ma'am, ganito nangyari, ganito. So i-report natin sa 8888. Tapos kausapin natin si Yusek kasi nabi, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Nakausap ko. So era yung mga kailangan na documents na needed. If I'm award ko naman sa kanya. Lo and behold, nakauwi siya. So, you know, you you can be a great person. You can be a great marketing practitioner if you, at this point of time, establish networks or contacts that can actually help you in any time that you need, especially when you engage in marketing of agricultural commodities. Because these people can be your distributors. These people can be your consumers. Or they can be your investor. And, you know, that's uh, what we call interdependence. You need to be interdependent because each of you has an added value placed in the product or service that you are promoting or subscribing. Okay, so in, uh, in agricultural marketing, decision-making is fast because perishable yung ating agricultural commodities. So, implying decision-making process needs to be swift. It should be decisive in nature. So, the effectiveness and quality of decision-making influences the efficiency of the food marketing system. Remember, we're talking here of food. We're talking here of something that is being consumed by hungry people. And hungry people taste for it. That's why your decision should be paspas. Kaya nga naman, perishable ang mga itlog, mga, mga daot na dahil ang gatas mapanus na, ang, ang karni na to, mapangit na, ang, ang balot, di na na mapuslan if in case ko an, mo lampas na na 100 days, tabugok na na siya. So your decision making should also be fast. Okay, second one is inclusion of farm supply. So, inclusion of farm supplies, farm input supply industry is the resource base of the food industry. Remember, kanang atong ginabuhi ng mga hayop, kanang atong mga ginatanom na mga produkto, they are actually farm input supplies. So, they can be consumed for direct consumption. They can be used for processing of other products. And that would actually be, ano, that would actually imply that yung farm natin is intended for supply. So yung farms natin are not actually just businesses, but they are also suppliers. So imagine good ni mo class, imagine natin ha, nung nanalo ang cluster 5, sino yung taga cluster 5 dito? Sino? Sino taga cluster 5 dito? Taas ang kamay. Walang taga-cluster 5? Wala? Sigurado? Sanchez, hindi ka taga-cluster 5? Ba, may nakadawat manok. Oo. Oh. So imagine ilang manok, ilang chicken ang ibibigay ni Mayor Inday. 10,000, sir. 10,000 chicken joy. Oh, imagine ha, 10,000 chicken joy. Lipay ka, ayaw mo. No, malipay ka, ito kung ina kay. 10,000. Pero in the part of Jollibee daw, sige daw, inaunaa daw ninyo, malipay ba sila, Ana? Okay, malipay sila because that's 10,000 chicken joy sales. But we know, when you produce 10,000 chicken joy, it's also a, a nightmare because where are you going to, to buy 10,000 pieces of chicken at a very short of time and process it for distribution? Diba, diba Miss Ching? Where are you going to, to buy 10,000 at a very short of time considering that it's COVID-19 pandemic and there are actually a lot of farms that are kuano, kanaganing, prioritizing the distribution of chicken for consumption. Nakikita natin that LGUs are even, are even producing chicken for relief goods. Diba? Asa ka nung itag 10,000 ka nga chicken? So it's important for you to understand the, the, ano, the complexity of the agricultural marketing systems right now. By, 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 by incidence, that's actually policy. Policy na siya ha because ang nangyari is I will produce 10,000 
uh, pieces of chicken joy for those who have the least number of COVID-19 cases. Now, ang pagluluto ng 10,000, the logistics of distributing the 10,000, imagine ko, lang, isa lang kabuk branch ang magluto ng 10,000 pieces of chicken, di ba? Hindi yan ganun. So, imagine ang capacity lang ng pagluluto ng chicken joy for Kalina na Jollibee is only limited like this. Ang sa Turil na Jollibee is only intended for, for like this. Ang sa, sa, sa other branches nearby is also like this. So, you're going to consider sa 10,000, asa kwaon ang 1,500 chicken. Kasi ang mingon na manager, ano nga, kaya ragyod na mo, umuproduce 1,500 chicken, sir, para aning, ano, kay, amo, amo, among supplies, kay, ano lang, hindi na mo, pwede ikompromiso ang among mga dine-in and take-out na mga consumers. Diba? Kaya lang, nasa pikas na po, manawag ka, sir, kaya lang na mo mag-produce og 500 na chicken, kaya na mo mag-produce og ingan. They're from different branches, and different branches have different suppliers. And they, 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 they receive those chicken supplies at a different time and at, at, at a different pace. So kung ikaw na mamalit og 10,000 chicken intended for giving, it's a goddamn nightmare. You know, it's a nightmare of getting those supplies. Malipay ta kay mo aong raman ta, pero the ones who prepare for it and the logistics needed for it is actually very, very trabaho. So, magpasalamat tayo sa Jollibee. Magpasalamat tayo sa mga parang middlemen who does that or who makes everything possible. Because the ones who get the chicken, pays for the chicken, cooks for the chicken, distribute those chicken by not compromising the mga diners and other takeouts. Uh, and, and take They're also a hero during this time. Oh no, if in case you will be working in, in large corporations in the future and you will be utilizing your your learned skills from CBAE, at least you are now informed that planning and distribution of agricultural commodities. Eh, may, manang, may manang uban nga mga supplies like tinapa, kaya naman ang na shelf life, di ba? They can withstand perishability for quite some time. But chicken joy does not. Ano, mapanus man na, marangso man na siya. So, kailangan paspas ang imuhang decision making. Remember, Remember ha, perishable ang food industry. Perishable ang atong mga pagkaon. So that's why we need also to be, uh, we, we also need to be decisive when it comes to decision making. So conflicts, uh, conflicts, conflicts in the food marketing system. Why conflicts? Why, bakit ang dami-daming conflicts? Because of competition. There's also the bid for higher price, lower price, and higher quality and lower quality. Take note that price is a trade quality. What do you mean by that? Which means people expect highest quality at the lowest price. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way because when you want highest quality, you need to pay for more and more. No? So, pero trade off man siya. Sabot pa sabot ng ambisyon ng mga tao na makakuha og highest quality products at the least possible price. Hang yun pag anit nga, no? Kung pwede pa lang di bayad. <laughs> so, huwag yun expectations sa ato. So, that's the existing conflict in the food marketing system. We always strive to pay the lowest possible price whilst getting the highest quality. And it doesn't work that way, you know? That's why corruption exists. Okay, lowest price, lowest bidder, ito ang itong permiti ko ano, na itong pili ko, pili ang highest quality. No? So, muna itong timanan. Kana, mugawas yun na sa, kana, ako, ako agi nang ipa, kuwan sa inyo ha, ako agi nang ipa-analyze sa inyo ha. Why is it, kanang, when can we finally reconcile highest quality and lowest price? Okay, para makasabot mo ba? Kana, one had, um, if, if in case you're aware, I'm not really going to give you paper-based examination. Kana, ganing, uh, the, the typical examination na test one, okay. 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 test two, identification. Kaya binuang mana ha, na exam. <laughs> binuang na ang klase nga exam. Ang ako ani eh, kay had pang advanced level naman ni nga marketing, I want to train you to become CEOs. So I want um, you to really understand how everything operates in the context of decision making. Okay? Kabalo na na si Tinaw. Kaya sa kumang labad. 
<laughs> Malo na lang sila okay. kung, kung unsa ko magpa-exam, di ba? Tinaw no ka ng pang, pang puga og utok levels. Yes, mo. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> kailangan, kailangan dyan mo mag-brainstorming, kailangan dyan mo mag-bacteria high sa group so that you can really understand how, you know, advertising, how are we ko, uh, oh, this is my best friend, how 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 uh, consumption takes place in the context, in the context of uh, food marketing. Okay, kabalo na mo unsay market, of course, no? So, they are a group of potential, me, memorize on yun na ninyo, it's a group of potential buyers with three characteristics. Meow, meow, meow siya, nag meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, they have needs and wants to satisfy. Second one, they have money to spend. No? And third one, it's they have the willingness to spend for it. Remember that a market has to contain all three characteristics that I mentioned. Dapat na sila panginahanglan nun. Dapat kinahanglan kanila. No? Second one is they have money to spend. No? Kailangan na sila ikabayad. Or mag willing sila magbayad. Agar agar ning kanang kuan sila ba nagin sila kwarta nga ikabayad anang imuhang produkto of servisyo. Nga naman, imagine if they have needs and wants that's a... Ah, like 30 seconds. Okay. Sorry, sorry for 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 the intermission number. <laughs> so okay, again, ha. If in case uh, we have the second characteristic, willing uh, money money to spend. Kasi kapag may kailangan ka lang, tapos wala ka namang ikakabayad, hindi naman charity work ang marketing, di ba? Kailangan magbayad ka talaga. Hindi po, kahit utang yan, dapat magbayad ka. Hindi pwede na libre ang lahat sa marketing because that's not marketing at all. That's charity, charity work. work. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi charity work ang marketing, Hana, ay bayad ka na. Hindi pa ang nagbuhi sa ekonomiya. And third one is they should have the willingness to spend for it. Why? Kailangan ka, magbaba may kailangan magbabayad, pero hindi ikaw ang kailangan. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> diba, so, kumbaga, gigutom. So, that means na siya need. Gigutom. Yes, sir. Ayad siya, kay gigutom gutom na siya. Sir. Pero, na ikaw nga ka ng, ikaw nga McDonald's, ga-offer ka sa imong services, pero di siya ganahan sa imong. Mm. Diba? So, that's, okay, you can consider someone as your potential market, but right now, you are not what they need. Bakit <laughs> yun? So, okay, so, sorry, sorry for that. So, a market can be defined as an area for organizing and facilitating activities. So, we need to answer economic questions for that. Remember that when you enroll in marketing, twin, the twin sister of marketing is economics. You study economics as well because you can understand where our supplies are coming from and what do people need? How do they do that? So, what are the four economic questions that we need? Number one, what to produce. Diba? Anong kailangan mo? Anong kailangan nila? Oh, hindi ka nila kailangan, buy ka. <laughs> okay, so what to produce? So, kailangan makabalo ka kung unsang kinahanglan sa mga tao. No? So, kailangan nilang kumain. So, kailangan magbenta ka ng pagkain. Hindi ka magbebenta ng sundang. Pagkaon ng kinahanglan nila. One. Ay, crucial ka yun ng question na what to produce, ha? Remember, ang imong negosyo ay military na supplies. Para pang war. So, how are they going to to have business kung peaceful ang kalibutan? So, magbuhat na sila war para magamit ang ilang mga military supplies. For example, pharmacology industry. Ang pharmacology industry is magbuhat ang mga tambal para makapaayo ang sakit. So, dili na sila gusto nga healthy tanan ang tao. Magbuhat na sila ng sakit para magamit ang ilang mga tambal. Ingana ang kalibutan ko need driven and if there's a need for you you will become successful so kung ikaw kung magnegosyo ka guay nagkinahanglan sa imuha magbuhat ng opportunity para kinahanglan sila magkinahanglan sila ninyo that's how a marketing thinks for example 
Something that I learned in, in, in The Wolf of Wall Street is making yourself needed, no? So, ibang pa nga to, if I ask you, if I ask you to sell this ball pen to someone, how are you going to sell it in the context of the first question? Diba? Kinahanglan, ma-realize sa mga tao o sa tao nga kinahanglan nila ang ball pen ana ang point para palito na nila. So, for example, Mingon ko, mingon ko sa inyo ako. Ako mamaligya ani. I would say I will I will actually copy the strategy of Leonardo DiCaprio in 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 kato ganing The Wolf of Wall Street. So mingon ko, pwede ko mga ig number ni mo. Isulat imo number sa aring ang papel. Ho ay wala mo koy ballpen. Ay naa koy balagya ballpen diri palitan na lang, ripan ni. Di ba? You're creating a need at that point, no? And and in agricultural uh, in the agricultural systems, in the agricultural setup or scenario we need to be very immediate when it comes to creating the need. Eh, pagkaon na, mapanus na, mataot na, anong gawin. No. Second one is how to how much to produce. No. So, kung yung kag 10,000 kabuk chicken joy, pila man kabuk ang imong order ron. 10,000 rapod. 50 mil. 8,000. When can you say that the order of raw, raw materials is actually an optimal decision. Because when, when we have a demand of 10,000 chicken joy for cluster 5, we do not order 10,000 chicken pieces. We order an optimal value based on our available inventory. Yes, sir. 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 Remember, Kung 10,000 ang order sa Chicken Joy and you want to ensure nga napakay Chicken Joy available para sa imong mga diners o sa mga nag-take out, while nag-supply ka og Chicken Joy, dili 10,000 po ang imong i-order, Ana. Kaya unang-una, daghan pa og mga Jollibee branches that could supply that immediate need. No? Tapos, i-consider ni mo ang imong current inventory. Naman tayo inventory of raw materials available kung kung saan pwede dito i-dispose immediately. Napatay incoming na mga orders. So, at this point, I will be teaching you I will be teaching you sometime kung kung saan mag-compute ang optimal order system. Nagaan ka mag-formula anak sa Excel. Ma-amaze yun mo. Ah, dapat mo din yung ano mo din yung dapat. Mo din yung gidaghan nun para di kumalugi. Ang anak, doon ka mga anak. No? Kana nga Excel sheet, kana nga formula gikan para sa akong subject sa supply chain uh, supply chain planning and design when I had my second master's in Curtin, Curtin University. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Para magamit ninyo. No? And kung ano, okay, oh, kung ano, para magamit ninyo kayo para may mong manager sa, sa Miguel Foods Corporation. <laughs> Third is how to produce. O, oh, ibutang na to. No, kabalo ka on sa i-produce. Pila ka mong i-produce? Ang pangutana, Ana, is unsaon pagluto. O? So, ngan, unsaon pagluto, nga ka nang, ka nang mingan magkataog how to produce. Proseso na siya to ensure that your product will be wanted and will be satisfactory to the quality they expect. So, there's also procedures in cooking. There's also procedures in making the product. And you ensure that that type of production is cost effective which means taas ang quality sa product kunya gamay ang cost of production kay para taas ang imuhang revenue ang remember ha sales minus operating expenses equals profit the lesser your expenses the, the, the lesser your expenses the better is your profit kay kung ang imong sales halos magmatch lang pud sa imong expenses mura ra ka ana og nagkuha og bato gid sa mong ulo wa kay ginansya kailangan optimal ang imong pricing gamay ang imuhang kuan gamay ang imuhang ginatawag nato na expenses so that you can have a better chance of profit especially nakapag food products daghan kag kakompetensya magtukod lang ka dira gamay og kanang mamaligya ka og kamote ki og mga barbecue na after 2 days or 1 day na nakay duha ka kompetensya Diba? Because Filipinos are naturally competitive, competitive when it comes to businesses. Especially if the raw materials are just available in the market. Okay? So, kung, kung ang imong produkto, 
kapaan ka ng tamote queue, ana-ana. So, so dapat ang imo ha, you become a better person. Dapat magbutang kag mag mag kuan kag tamote queue pero dapat sagulan nimo og ginko biloba. <laughs> Tongkat <laughs> ali <laughs> for a better twist. <laughs> or kanang para nang pandesal, de ba? So kanang pandesal is is a common commodity during the morning. So how are you being selected? How are you, why will will be your pandesal to be selected and what makes it better? So, kailangan na kaibutang dara na added variation of that pandesal. May it is strawberry pandesal, ubi pandesal, or pandesal with cheese inside. Diba? So, sigurado, di pa dugukun ka. Kanang pandesal na regular dara, buy ko na siya. So, yung ana, ang mag, mag, ganyan tayo mag-isip when it comes to competitiveness in food food systems. And how to distribute production? So, karon ang, ang imong na-produce, Ibutang na ito, unsa imong focus? Community-based lang baka, city-based baka, regional-based baka, di ba? So, pagkain yan. So, kailan yan? If in case yung planta is General Santo City, kailan yan makakarating sa Davao City? Ha? So, you need to think of the logistical implications no? sa pag-distribute mo sa imong food products and services or raw materials from the farm going to the other cities, other countries, other municipalities, or if it's barangay lang within that community. Anyway, what is a market? Kabalo na mo ano, no? It's a group of potential buyers with needs and wants to satisfy money to spend and willingness to spend for it. However, we are actually being defined by three uh, considerations. We have location, we have the product, and we have the time. So, of course, we consider these three important essential characteristics no, when we engage in food production. Okay, so location, the product, and the time. No time element is important. Ano man, mapanus ba yung atong pagkaon, best? No. Mapanus siya. Na location. Eh kung the more layo, the more dugay. Diba? The more, the more layo ang inyong adduan, the more dugay. So, the, ang, ang quality sa product is ma, ma, mag-diminish na as time goes by. And then, we consider the product's quality as well. Diba? The longer it stays in the shelf, the chaka it is. Mura nagmamaligya ka o ka ng lauwi ba? Inig, kayo pa kayo na sa mga buntag, mga alas 10 ka maglutog law sa karindiriya, ready na na for alas 12. Perfect ka ayo ang kainit sa sabaw na alas 12. Magtuloy-tuloy mong singot ana. Apan kung, kung naay mukha o law alas 3 na mukha o. Wa na lami ang law uy ana. Kay, di na kayo na siya as in na boiling hot ang kainit. No? And you're paying the same law uy with a lesser quality. No? Pag yes, yes. ang bawal sa law uy, Lami ka ay satisfactory kay na siya karong udto kay lami pa kay siya pagkakuan pagka alas 3 ano alas 4 ana lamiyada na kaayo na in tawon no ang 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 ang, ang kalabasa ana kay dugmok dugmok na gamay ana because of the temperature and you're paying the same thing so dapat consider nato ang time at ang quality sa puti anyway <laughs> the, the marketing process so the marketing process starts with the farmer the farmer that does the cultivation of the raw materials, you know, that, that does the cultivation of the possible agricultural supplies, and his production and ends with the consumer. So, kanang ato ang ginatukod, gina, gina cultivate na saging, kanang plantation, ang ending gid ana is ang ikalibang siya. Ano man? That's the answer to consumption and digestion and utilization of that agricultural produce. Nag-start nag na siya sa pagpadako sa punuan hangtod na i-consume na na siya sa ato ang consumers. But between these two, there is an intricate, there, there is a complicated process of production, distribution, selling, promotion happening. And what makes them complicated are these two firms. So we have business firms. Sige daw, Be, mangota na ko sa inyo, ha, daw. In the context of i-unmute mo, ha? Sige daw. Unsa ka, ha, ang mga possible na mga tao or organizations between sa usa ka farmer nga nag nag nagtanom og saging 
og sa tao, og sa mga consumers, or og, og sa kaya ang mga tao organizations nga involved, gikan sa usa ka farmer nga nagtanon og saging, og kamo nga mamalit og maruya. Sige daw. Transportation. Sige daw. Transportation sir. Ano ang anong namay ko ang transportation para asa man na? Alam, gikan man jud mismo sa mga growers or producers. Aso ang transportation ato nga side. Ah, uh, sa so pag-deliver na sa ano sir products, padulong sa consumers. Mm, sige daw, sige. Sige, mangutan na dot ang Miss Christine Bukag, dai. Yes sir. Ato may kuan ato. Um Ano sir, um, nagtanom ka og saging tapos imong gilo. Ayun sa to sir, paki Ita kay mura gina ko kantos. <laughs> Ela. Pag 50, pag 51 talk na ko. Sige, one talk. Usab do sa question sir. Okay, so between a farmer, between a farmer na kana ganing nag talk na. Sir, ina gyu sir. Ina imong tingog. Madungog dili. Okay na sir. Oh, sige. Between a okay na, sir. Between a farmer nga nagtuko o nagtanom og saging og ang okay. ta- o mga estudyante nga mukaon og banana queue. Okay. Remember saging becomes a banana queue, right? Yes Unsa sir. Unsa kaha ang mga tao or mga organizations involved ana? Okay, um nag-ingon first si, nag-ingon si kuan ganina, Mr. Dalayon man to no nga nay transportation. Sa so, ikaw mismo kag unsa may other na organizations? Uh, other organizations involved are the ingredients that we use uh, in order to cook. Um, so, asa man mapalit ang mga ingredients? From the manufacturer. Like, sa? pwede pag sa, ano sir, direct to the ano manufacturer para mas lesser ang imong bayaran and mas dako ang profit na mabalik sa imo kay oh, less. Sige. We're talking here of saging. Saging mismo ha, ka ng saging. Yes, sir. Na Mahimo siyang banana queue. So, okay. kung sa ang organizations or tao na involved sa, pra- sa pag-transform aning saging na naa sa farm sa mismong maruya nga imuhang gigunitan. Sige, ganina na transportation because nag-ingong ganina si Mr. Dalayon nga. Kini, na transportation sa, pra- sa raw material padulong sa palengke nga pa rin something like that. Kung sa pa, yung kaong ingredients. O unsa nga ingredients, katumang... Hey. Mantika and ano sir, sugar. Okay, kana siya ingredients dili man dili man tao or kanang kana ganing organization. Asa man na sila mapalit? Market. Sa market sir, sa so, bangkerohan. So unsa may unsay tawag ana nila? Sa generic term uh, ana. Public market. No? Tao, tao. Um, Oo, hindi bagay, tao siya. Supplier. <laughs> ano, uh, supplier sir. Ang power. Supplier. Okay. So we call them Supplier. Suppliers. Suppliers. So suppliers of other raw materials. Okay. Sige, ano pa? Sino pa? Laborers, sir. Laborers. Bakit laborers? Navarete. O kasi sila yung nag-process ng mga at tawag dyan. Galing pa lang ng mga saging sa plantation, sila na ang involved tao. Sino na laborers ang pinag-uusapan natin? Sa pag-deliver, to... oh, may so... mga laborer pa rin na involved. So distribution ang context ni mo sa laborers. The one that that carries the the product to the truck and the yes, one sir. who distributes that. Sige. Sibutan na lang nato distributors or the distribution ng mga laborers. Next, kinsa pa yung mga tao involved sa sa Maruya? Okay, sir. Consumers. The one who is the Maruya. Sige, Sige sa si Kinyonesa. Sa. Um, the seller sir ang nagbalig sa Maruya, sir. Okay, ngano man, nganong kinahanglan siya nga involved sa decision making? Okay, kung wala siya sir, wala makao ng consumer na maruya. Correct. So kumbaga, the, the 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 one who creates the maruya hands or kada ganing distributes it directly to the consumer. So kinsa pa? Man sir. Man sa tahop? Del man sir. Ha? Middle Del- man. Kinsa nga middleman, huwag ganit, kinsa nga mga middleman atong ginaistoryahan. Kinaghan mo na sila. Advertising agency, sir. Katong, ano, sir? Kasi advertising agency. Ay, baka. Ako sa itong i-absorb na advertising agency sa Maruya. Sir, nag-alay, sir. Ano, guys? Okay, sige, mga kanda ko sa inyo. Is it possible 
nga na ay advertising about sa Maruya. Sige daw. Sige, mga tanong oh, yeah. sa mga... Sige, kinsa kaya mo advertise, Ana? Consumer, sir. I mean, bro. Good. They are the one... Correct. They are the one to walk the talk, sir. Correct. So, kumbaga, we do not need, in the context of Maruya, in the context of Banana, we do not need an advertising agency that will create an advertising ad about Maruya so that you will buy Maruya. It's actually the people who consumes Maruya who testifies the beauty and the efficacy and the deliciousness of this Maruya for free. Diba? Wala, wala ka nagbayad ani nila. Consumer po na, namo pa na sila ang nag-word of mouth no, sa ibu, ha? Maruya. So, they are also involved in the distribution of Maruya because they're possible of making the Maruya na mahurot dayan because daghan na malit, because nakabalo sila na ang, ang, na ang ilang friend na malit o Maruya, na testimonya ani nga ninyo, nga Maruya. Okay? So, lahat ng mga taong involved sa marketing process are called firms. No? They are called firms. Business firms. They're engaged in physical and technological activities and run by people who make decisions. Remember, ha? They are people or organizations that decide or they make decisions. Second one is exchange organizations. So, they are activities to establish the selling prices like DTI, the government, even uh, the prevailing industry price, and uh, exchange organizations na siya. So, in co including contracts and arrangements. Business firm. Business firm. Business firm. Business firm. Business firm. Uy, wow. Ako ni finish ang aside ako ni upload sa kanang kuan sa Blackboard don't worry. Ha? Thank you sir. Okay. Now, let's proceed with the marketing process. So the marketing process, uh, the marketing system operates within the social capital on one hand. Remember social capital that means it involves people and networks of connections. Okay? So uh, the other one is social rules and norms on the other hand. So whether we have um, a wide a wide network of people or consumers or customers, we also need to comply with social rules like the rules set by DTI or the rules set by BIR, the rules set by the mayor through our mayor's permit granted, as well as the barangays, barangay employees, uh, barangay na mga officials who gave you barangay clearance and authority to operate a business in your barangay. So, kana siya, dili na, kana nga mga requirements na itong i-comply, dili lang na siya, char-char na mga requirements para maka-open pa. It's a matter of establishing and following social rules that we are abiding what's legal and what's moral so that we can operate our business in the context of the legality and morality of the society. Kasi kung, kung ang imuhang, kung hindi ka mag-comply, no, Kanang, kapag hindi ka mag-comply sa batas ng classroom nyo, bawal ka talaga lumabas. <laughs> bawal lumabas. Bawal lumabas, sir. Oh, bawal ka talaga lumabas. No? Bawal lumabas talaga. <laughs> Mag-comply ka talaga. Oh, so, mag-comply ka talaga. Yun talaga yung, 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 yung key dyan. So, we have social capital. That's the definition. Resources created by the society. It can be a, a network of people. It can be uh, your connections. It can be um, your access to information. It can be your technological capabilities, yeah, the trainings and seminars that you attended that can form part of your social capital. Now, social rooms and norms, no? Uh, they exist in the society. In fact, they can be considered as um, external forces of the environment. Now, the external forces in the of uh, the external forces of the environment are actually uh, acronymized as PESTEL. No, the political, economic, social, cultural, technological, environmental, and labor and legal uh, forces. You can search PESTEL. Uh, pestel matrix or pestel analysis in Google, and you can check uh, examples of the forces of the environment under the pestel framework. Also, kindly search um, uh, David uh, Porter's five forces model because they are actually influential. Kamalo naman mo anang or Michael uh, Michael Porter's five force model. Dinain talo maliba ano? Kinauna na ninyo sa inyong strat. 
Oh, mana mukstra? Oh, mukstra. Ah, dia cukup untuk lo anak, no, dia ina aku ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, ini aku aprilud lang ni sa strat aku ah, uh, pero ang strat kamo dapat kita mungkin say expert ah. Yes, sa sir. Kung tagaan ko ano 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 kung tagaan ko strat ano 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 So, di ko na nato ma 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 small small lang ato ang BSBA marketing management nga program no kay kung graduate ka na living testimony ka nga ni Agi ka sa ni Morisha og ni Husul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, different forms of utility in the marketing process. When we say utility, that's usability. So, ang pagiging Uh, usable mo. So, natin ginatawag ano nga uh, hard to get but easy to use. No? <laughs> Napote ganyan nga, easy to get but hard to please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ano yung mga yung ana? So, we call that ut- we call that utility. No? So, when we say utility, we have two utility forms in marketing. So, we have form utility. Sos, kino ko ka namin kang form utility mo ni hilig na to. Di taganahan kung dili gwapo ang produkto sa tong ngayon. Wala na package. Huwag tarong unsa mani. Uy, kapangit ba ani yung packaging ani? Uy, lami kayo. Pero pangit ang packaging. Di na taganan mo kaon, di ba? Kay kasagaran, ang packaging, huwag yun ay makaliba sa tua. Uy, kagwapo sa packaging sa kuan. Uy, sa kanaganing, kanaganing cheapy. Tapos, ang sunod ay sa packaging kay 34 at 75% hangin. Ganoon. <laughs> O, gwapo kayo yung packaging. Oh. Oh, another ka ng makaliba nga packaging no, na giliba ta for, for almost a century. Coke. No, Kamano sure. ba mo? Ang saan ang Coke? Sugar, water, carbonic acid, and some preservatives gipabula. Huh? In short, asukar na preservative huh? na inyong giinom na nasa tubig. <laughs> Kabala ba mo? Suka, asukar naman ang cook. Parang oh, lang, sir. Ga- Di ba, guwapo kayo yung cook. Kaya na ganing, quench your thirst. Ano-ano, with all the sparkling feeling. Di pa bula. Ibutang nga rin na carbon dioxide glass. So, asukal na. Pag humayan, tubig. Ang pampaitom nga preservatives. Butangan ka ba yung acid para na ay fizz, para na ay gamay nga pampabakteriya. yung ko ang pampabulaan na butang ng carbonic as eh butang ng carbon dioxide but nga in extreme pressure para mubula no para mukuan siya para mo fizz na siya ba mo nang reason na pag abri minyo ana amura siya umu pop para mubula because of carbon dioxide pero in short kung wala tong pampabula asukar gyud nag tubig <laughs> wala mo nila la kuan dagan na asukar anang coke and sprite and seven up that's only it no kung sa, sa normal sense na ito, anak na liba ta because how Coke is being packaged. No? Because of form utility. We value the form over the actual substance. Mura po nagmamili tag-relasyon. No? Kasagaran, mamili tag-wapo. Mm, mamili tag-wapo. Napagawin, pati mautag pamatasan. Ibiaan, gihapin. Ha? Tama. So, Ayaw mo pamili gwapo kay sa puto nung gano'n ang end. Daghan mo kakompetensya ang ending kayo. Ano yung mga value? No? Nah. So, mamili. Kung, kung, <laughs> oh, kung gwapa ka dahi, ayaw pamili o gwapo. Kaya nga naman, ka ng mga tao nga yung ana, o ka ng ikaw, o ka ng mura ka gihimong props. Ayaw. No. Take it from me. No. Kana sila. Kana na. Wag yung forever dahi. Anyway, place with it. Ah, Toon mo. Nanay, Oh, lahat kay tinawan si Quinones sa ako. Pag ingon ako, ayaw pamilig gwapo. <laughs> anyway, sige, let's continue. So, uh, we usually are easily appealed with the form. And we we have higher utility or higher preference on something that has a good form. No, mo nang kana ganing maliba ta anak sa advertisement sa Jollibee kay gwapo ka ayo ang burger patty, gwapo ka ayo ang kanang iyahang kanang iyahang bread anak ni ang yang buns no with all the kana ganing with all nang lupad ng mga sesame sesame seeds dra sa advertisement but in the reality pero tinla piada mas gwapo pang burger sa Angel's Burger. Tama. Di ba? 
because advertising sometimes is deceptive because they invest on your emotion and appeal to utility on the form and the physical appearance of the product. Pangit po ba yung kaya ng mukhaon ko produkto nga wajoy lamyada kang pagka-arayin siya produkto, no? No? So, kasagaran, kung ano kita mag-invest na, and then place utility. So, we also, kung ano, we also, um, Consider where the kuan, kana ganing where the product is coming from, and if in case gikan siya ana ang produk ng ang produk produk to gikan ana ang kuan ng ng something tas atong preference. So kung mingon ta o kana ganing this cow's milk is from the cows of Alps. Mo mo ng Alpine, mas mahal ang Alpine kung ano, de ba? O kana ng or gikan ba nga kana ganing this meat comes from kana ganing tender meats bread in the Himalayas. O, kanong mga inanak ng mga makadungog tag mga place? Or, this wine is coming from the kuan, from from the cask, from kuan, aged, kuan, aged through time for 100 years in Portugal. So, kung makadungog tag inanak ng mga kuan, hindi mo rin, lamit kami sa pamati. Or, kanong, made in Costa Rica. Murag, lamit makain na kami na. Pero kung made in China, ay chaka. Diba? So, kung mayroon made in China, murag negative dahil ang connotation nato. So, we have lower place utility kapag China. Pero kung mayroon tag, made in Singapore, made in Kazakhstan, murag bago pa ito paminaw, no? murag lamit kayo na paminaw. No? Say, aminin ninyo, kapag made in China, murag negative ang inyong kuan, inyong behavior. Pero kung mayroon made, kung mayroon tag made in Philippines, ay, Philippines na po. No? Natas Pilipinas, Philippines itong pamalit doon. Pero kung may yung made in US, social, sikat, no? di ba? Kung baga, kung may yung ganita nga, uy, ka nang mulaag ko Singapore, uy, pamayit ko souvenir dito, ha? Puro mo ng t-shirt ta. Hindi, uy, kay, ay, lagi nang nakakagikan, nakakay na palit gikan sa Singapore. Di ba, yung anak nga to ang explanation, di ba? We call that place utility. We value where the product is coming from and we pay higher if the product is coming from country that we find better than ours. Okay? So, time utility. O, kanipod siya ka nang ginatawag na ito habang tumatagal, lalong sumasarap. Kanang mga tanduway. The more daw mag-age ang usa ka product through time, the more mas mahal o mas kwapo ang quality niya. Wine, sir. So, we call that time utility. If in case bago pa siya, Dili kayo siya that appealing because, you know, it's not actually brewed to perfection. But when it's brewed through time, it's actually stored through time. Like kimchi, no? When kimchi, it's, sir. Oh, kanang kimchi, Anna. Yes, kung, kung bago rin natin mo gi-prepare, wakay na ilami, no? Kaya very repolyo pa kayo ang imong makaon, mm -hmm. Anna. Pero kapag yes, ferment na nimo ang kimchi under the kanang fermentation jars, gilubong gina nimo og maayo, gisagula na nimo mga persimmon dira nga mga essentials mm -hmm. dira kunuhay. For 100 days imo nang na-ferment, magkalami ang kimchi. Lami kayo. Layo layo yes, sir. Kayo ang kimchi nga naa sa grocery store o kanang gibuhat sa usa ka Korean gyud nga gi-store gyud niya in very airtight nga mga fermentation jars. Layo ra kayo. No, nya. Himo na nimo siyang kimchi gani nga kana gani. Ang kimchi isagol gani nimo sa imo ha gani ram ramyeon sis kalami na yon. Sir, sir na pabaligya kimchi dere sir. Na maligya ta yon. Dai, favorite pa yon kimchi dai. Bawal lumabas pa. Na maligya bi daw ang kimchi sir. Meet up lang daw sa UM sir. Ipikadlo sa UM. Asa yung delivery sir. UM Bolton or UM Matina? Bolton lang, sir. Ah, sa Bolton lang. Sige, sige. Magsabot sa tanat, Jai. Okay, next. Possession utility. So, maglakaw na mo. So, kapag possession utility, ang sinasabi natin, if someone owns like this, I should, I should have like this as well. No? Kanang, kinaingo na ito ba nga, kapag makapanag-iyag ka o ka ng mga fine wines, murag feeling ni Muno ka ng kininga tao is very kuwan. No? Ano ganyan? Social. Or if in case na akay na akay in any nga product sa salud sa imong refrigerator murag mm, murag lamit po din siya no? so, sometimes it's it's common with the meat industry no kanang ginatawag nato nga mga mag nakay kana ganing fine steak meats no so kung mamalit ka og mga kanang kasagaran atong baka atong ginapalit nga baka pang sabaw ra man gyud no pang 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 beef steak kanang 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 ginatawag nato beef steak no or beef steak Oh, kan ang pang, pang nilagang baka, maura man ang level sa mga baka ang atong ginapalit sa palengke. 
But if in case na ako ginatawag na magpalit yung kaab kung mga kanaganing tibol for tibone for kanaganing rib eye o kato mga social media kasi ako mga anak bongga nagkakana na class kabalo kano na buhat kana ako na ano kung wakos Pilipinas kaya ano man in when when I when I when I was still studying in Australia barato mo kung mga baka dito barato ka kano mga kana ganing every every day good no kana ganing mamaligya ang mga grocery stores o kana ganing roasted chicken roasted free range chicken so when you say free range wala na siya gibuhi nga kana ganing napa feeds ni mo so farmer ka nagbuhi kag manok unya imura na siya ginapalakaw lakaw diha mo kaon og bisang unsa sa imong fields magkuan lang baka natural dira na mga pagkaon ang tawag ana free range sa atoa ana bisaya So, kabalo na mo nga ang tawag anak ko kung pangutan ang manok ang bisaya ang English anak free range chicken free range chicken kanang free range chicken class mas mahal man di ba mas mahal ang manok bisaya yes sir ano sa iraso nila okay short ang supply sir tapos and organic siya and aside sa organic dili mong gud tanan makabuhi og bisaya na manok sir correct unya ang kanang bisaya nga manok di ba di man gid nila ginabuhi gyud pasangdan ra man gina pakaon ra man nila og kanang unsa unsa badera kanang it it feeds on its own makita ninyo dili kaayo dako ang iyang meat di ba pero kung ka uno yes, nimo ang meat sa bisaya na manok or if if you, if you eat that the ano if you eat a soup made from free range chicken the soup is very tasty that's yes. why we put higher premium higher utility on that compared to normal chicken kanang chicken joint gani mo kanang kanang sa galibi lang mi kayo ang panic pero kung kauno nimo ang kanang puti lang nga part mo kali ka og papel vital sir ba mo kanang ginakaon ninyo nga kanang ganing sa 7-11 or 7-11 pero tiyong kuana wag nila mi pero kung naa kay manok na bisaya na kay mga ing ani we call that you know If you have those kind of meat, it's called possession, and you have higher utility on products that are organic and free range by nature. Okay. So, ano oras na ba? Baka nag overtime. Ano oras na? Hindi ko alam ng oras. Two two twenty one. Two five. Two twenty five. So we will end our our discussion by two thirty. So we will be a final slides that we will be discussing is approaches to the study of agricultural marketing. So there are three main ways to study agricultural marketing. So functional approach, we have institutional approach and behavioral approach. Okay. So when you say functional approach. The marketing process can be broken down into functions. So you focus much on the process and the procedure happening in the farm, because all marketing activities that you will be doing shall be tailor fit on your actual experience, no? Or the activities that you actually perform in managing the farm and managing your agricultural supplies. So there are three major functions in this process. We have exchange functions. Pagbayad ni mo, pagkuha ni mo raw materials. We have the physical function or the actual handling of this of your of your kuan kana magbuhi ka, magpakaon ka, magpanday-panday ka diha, magarsa-arsa ka dira mga bukat physical function ang tawag ana. Facilitating function is kanang mag-deliver ka na, no? Magpalig magnita na ka og mga possible na mga buyers and they facilitate the transfer of your products. So here, mo na siya mga examples of the functions that I mentioned. And take note that in the functional approach, marketing intelligence is very important because it's the function of collecting, interpreting, and dis disseminating market information. Kaya nga ako nag-aral ng data analytics sa labas because it will help me to become a better marketing practitioner so that I can understand how market behaves. No, so kailangan natin ng data so that we can have. Uh, we can create meaningful information that could actually reflect the actual behavior of our market. So, pariyaan ng, pariyaan ng, if in case you're aware, um, ang ako yung specialization sa marketing is market research. So, kasagaran, consumer behavior can be quantified. No? So, it can, it, it can be quantified. And then, that quantification of information from the market research, muna akong himuon na basis to improve my services. 
So kung kabalukong ang mas taas ang preference ang mga tao sa Bisaya ng manok over the 45 days na kal na chicken, why should I create kal na chicken, di ba? So ta mas taas ang premium sa free range chicken. So I would indulge in I would indulge in the services or in in, in the process of building uh, or or or, or kuan, you know, establishing a business like that. So the advantages of functional approach, the functions are costly but add value. Mahal ka di kay ka makakita og bisaya nga manok lisod kay magbuhi pero kung makakuan pug ka makabuhi pug kag mga way ubay nga bisaya nga manok mas taas ang imuhang price para ana so makabawi jud ka dayon makabawi kag dinagko no so second one you can't eliminate functions so syempre ang pagbuhi og mga ing ana kay extra man good no so naay additional cost no and then functions can be performed anywhere in the marketing systems the good thing about doing the functions or the processes uh, in, in raising free-range chicken or organic produce, it's, is that it's also quite similar with the non-organic one or the or the commercialized one. However, my added value ka lang na ginawa or added activities ka lang na ginawa to ensure that the quality is superior or better compared to that of the normal chicken or the normal banana or normal eggs. Okay, so kung free-range, imo lang napasagdan na sa buwagan na nimo pahop diha sa buwagan nimo na sila dira og mga unsa kana mga worms. Kana no so the more they eat worms the more tasty dako ang dasabaw. <laughs> Ana no so takaw nagbitok. Labi nang isaw sir. Oh di ba? Oh sis kada mi sa isaw labi nagkuan ka ayo. Pero pagka isaw. Ay ay. Okay, so we will be discussing on Tuesday. Uh, uh, we'll, I will be discussing on Tuesday, same uh, ten in the morning. If you can attend the ten in the uh, ten in the morning session, I uh, know. Sorry, Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, so the functional approach, uh, um, the institutional approach, because this will take quite some time because of of the institutions that are involved. So so far, um, I will be posting. Um, the, the first assessment that I will be doing is just quite um, a narrative essay. So I will be posting the assessment in Blackboard and you are given until June, uh, June 15 to write that essay. I'll post the format as well as the instructions in doing it. Alam na alam niya yan ng mga old student ko na kapag essay dapat hindi copy-pasted. Yes, sir. At least um, meron kayong citations and then you follow a specific format for that. Okay. So, I would appreciate if the essay has authors in it and you rephrase and paraphrase what you have read to support your own opinion. So, kung mayroon akong essay, tag two pages naman na, 1,000 words. Oh my God. Two pages. Na, pag uman, double space na pag yun na. So, mura na mong nag-type, Anna, o one page. Na, makabuhat, magayang mong formal team, makapost, magayang mong grant sa FB. Good. And he will be given quite some time to do it. Hindi naman at sin immediate after five days pasa dahil yun. Tis he will be working that for ten days so that at least you can have longer time to improve it. Do not submit an essay that is half cooked and always submit something that you believe to be excellent. No, ano pa pinaka the best na bid niyo. But I won't give you too much pressure on you in 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 rushing in. You have a time to write and then revise, revise something like that. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so that ends our session for today. I hope that uh, I will be uploading this slide so that you can read in advance the entire content of this chapter. And good afternoon. I'll see you. Yes, sir. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.